Welcome guys, this is Shrikant here. In this video, I am going to show you how to use Genie Motion with uh, your Flutter development. So for those uh, who are having slow computers, Genie Motion is definitely a good option. Uh, it is something you should try before getting a new computer. Uh, if you feel sh if you fell short of uh, budget and if you are unable to purchase a new computer, Genie Motion is something you should try. Uh, and I highly recommend try Genie Motion for developing your Flutter apps. So in order to download Genie Motion, uh, go to your favorite uh, Google search engine or Bing, wherever, and then search for Genie Motion free, and then press enter, and you will find uh, the link Genie Motion for fun, free Android limited. Just open it. It takes you to this page, and then. Uh, like go through it and then download the genie motion okay so it says download genie motion desktop 3.1.0 with virtual box without virtual box okay so uh, let me like I already have a virtual box installed and I will go with the second option if you are not having a virtual box installed this is something which you should try and here are the system requirements mentioned okay so it okay so it's okay to go with 32 or 64 bit okay VT, like vtx should be enabled so these are the basically the settings that were required for virtual box uh, to be up and running okay so i will leave these things for you to figure out and then something needs to be enabled in bios settings if it is not enabled or okay so 400 mb of disk space 4 gb of ram okay virtual box 6.4.1 so let's just go ahead and download this okay uh, you can see the files have started downloaded but it is showing some plans right now I'm not going to choose any plan because I want to continue uh, using it for free well uh, the file is downloaded now just go with installation uh, it's a, just a regular installation installation is finished now okay just tick launch genie motion click on finish okay, provide uh, the username and password and uh, click on next okay I'm using selecting personal use here okay accepting the license okay and then I'm going to click on plus button here so it is asking me to select a device so okay let's go with uh, S10 so if you want to change any settings just go ahead and change it okay uh, it's going to take a while to finish the download okay so the download is done now so let's try to start it yeah here you go you can see right so it's coming up now okay so it's up now okay see so it's it's highly responsive because my system is quite fast it is highly responsive before checking whether uh, genie motion is working with uh, visual studio code we have to link genie motion with android sdk so for that you need to go to genie motion settings and abd and you have to provide the android sdk path here so in order to know this path you need to what you need to do is you need to go to android studio tools sdk manager and you can get the sdk location path here Okay. 
so I mean close it and then once the uh, settings are updated go to settings and then enable developer options okay so in developer options enable debugging usb debugging and then st start the emulator in the meantime what we'll do is we'll open the visual code and see if it is getting detected okay so once this is up uh, in devices you'll be able to see that samsung galaxy s10 is available okay so i'll select this and i'll just execute this app you can see that app is loading now and it is up okay so so this is how uh, you use uh, genie motion with the visual studio code so like while actually while going through this process one of the issues what i have faced was uh, uh, like it doesn't support the latest version of visual like virtual box okay it doesn't support the latest version of virtual box and uh, uh, we have to go to 6.0.4 version i think okay so let's check this is the version which i am using here okay 6.0.4 is the version which you should be using okay and then apart from that we need to upload the settings over here okay so if these two things are not meeting uh, like uh, it might not work as expected but once after updating this you need to restart the uh, emulator as well hope this video is helpful to you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you really like my videos just go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you so much bye